Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special announcement on National Inventor Club. We have Grant Corboy. He's from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and there's an amazing program coming up on April 12th. It's called Pathways to Inclusive Innovation, and it's part of the pro bono program from the USPTO. Grant, please tell us what we have in store for us. Brian, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm with the Office of Enrollment and Discipline with the USPTO. I'm also administra an administrator of the USPTO's Patent Pro Bono Program. And the Patent Pro Bono Program endeavors to match financially under-resourced independent inventors and small businesses with volunteer practitioners that donate their services free of charge to help prepare file and prosecute applications before the office. And so we've been doing this now for quite some time. The program achieved nationwide coverage in 2015. And so you know this, Brian, it takes a little while to get a patent, but those people that have started the program back in 2015, they're starting to get patents in the program. And so a lot of people have come to us and said, well, now what? I've got my patent, what do I do with it? And so the USPTO developed this program called the Pathways to Inclusive Innovation. And it really takes the inventor from ideation to commercialization. And we try to cram that all in a single day program. And that's what we're having on April 12th. And there's a virtual component as well as an in-person component. I know it's a real tight for people to get there in person, but we're hoping and again, I appreciate you uh, allowing me to share this with your members because maybe there's an opportunity for them to attend virtually and uh, get some good information from a lot of tremendous resources. Thank you, Grant. And this is in Atlanta, Georgia. We can go actually in person or we can watch it virtually. So how do we sign up and how do we find out more about it? Yep. So I'm going to take you through this. And one of the things that I'm very happy about, and I want to share this with your audience, is the patent pro bono program. If you put it in the search engine in Google, we are the first program that comes up. So if you type patent pro bono program, USPTO patent pro bono program, it comes right to our web page. And so this is our web page, and it tells you a little bit about our program, the requirements for participation, and then you have this handy dandy map that's uh, that's there and you just click on your state and it takes you right to an application form to apply for assistance. So enough about that. What I'm here to talk about, and thank you very much, is to talk about this Pathways event on April 12th. And so if you go here to the left and click on this link, it'll take you to the patent uh Pathways to Inclusive Innovation information page, and this has information about the event. And specifically, if you go down to the bottom, you can register in person if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area, or you can register virtually. Again, this is on the 12th, so it's right around the corner. So we'd encourage you to do that. If you want to understand sort of the, uh, the things we're going to cover at the event, we can go down here to the agenda and click here and it'll take us to the agenda. And what you're going to see is, again, it's a uh, agenda that crams a lot of information in a very short period of time. And we start with really a patents and trademarks 101. And from there, we go to the free legal resources the USPTO has in order to help get a patent or get a trademark. And then we take a break and then we go into the federal resources. And this is important because we are the patents office but those people that get a patent are saying, well, what do I do next? How do I form a business? How do I go to the bank and get a loan? So we work with the Small Business Administration, and we have Terry Dennison, who's the district director at the U.S. Small Business Administration in Georgia, who's going to present for an hour on the resources that she has available to people who are just starting out and forming a business. This is amazing information. So not only... Do we have the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to provide us the patent pro bono program that if we qualify, we can get free legal advice for our idea to be able to file for a patent. Now you're taking it one step past to be able to figure out how to commercialize and form a business and different business resources that are available for your invention. 
Now, Brian, there is one extra advantage if you do attend in person, and that's this last section called Meet the Experts, where the presenters in the Patents and Trademarks 101, the free legal services, as well as the SBA, are going to be at tables and will be available to talk to the uh, the in-person attendees. So if you have a specific question about, you know, forming an LLC, uh, writing a business plan, uh, how do I, you know, um, protect my brand, you'll be able to talk in person to those individuals if you're there at the event. Got it. And also probably during the break, there's all kinds of good refreshments, but that's okay. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll have it when we're watching virtual. Yes. Anything else, Grant? I know that you're very active uh, helping inventors with getting the word out about your patent pro bono program. Any final comments or anything that we need to know uh, between whether it's signing up for this or just from what your office does? Yep. And so there is one more event that I would like to highlight if you're there. It's the Pro Bono Advisory Council has a follow-on event. So right after our event, you saw that our event ends around one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right after the Pro Bono Advisory Council has an event, has an event, and it's more focused on the business act, whether it's venture capital, uh, licensing your invention. Uh, they have a name, image, and likeness. So there's a lot of other stuff that's really outside of the USPTO's bailiwick. That's why we have it. Uh, by the Pro Bono Advisory Council because they're really hitting on areas that's outside the USPTO's area of expertise in the patents and trademarks, but really on developing your business, monetizing your invention. So go to the link for the separate registration and you'll pop that up and you can actually pull up their agenda and you can see the uh, topics they're going to hit from the panel discussion to how to leverage your IP, to uh, even the, there's a government um, uh, breakout session where you can figure out how to work with technology transfer. There's the government has inventions that are there sitting on the shelf and they want people to use it. So it tells you how to get access to that um, IP that the government develops and work with them to actually go out and market it and sell it. Excellent. And so there's a lot of interesting things there. And so I encourage, um, Again, I encourage that uh, your members uh, go attend this because I think it's got a lot of great information. And uh, and so it would be a great uh, for somebody who's going through the journey of uh, invention to uh, forming a business. Excellent. Grant, thank you so much for this information. So there's the USPTO's Patent Pro Bono Program, Pathways to Inclusive Innovation, April 12th, if you're in person anywhere near Atlanta, Georgia, go in person, spend some time and meet people, network, and get the information that you need to keep moving your invention ideas forward. Grant, thank you again. And if we can't meet you in person, then we can watch it virtually. And the information is in the post. Thank Great. you so much, Grant. We'll see Thank you, you soon. Thank you for having me, Brian. Take care. Thank Bye. you.